Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 11th of December 2019 and the time is just gone 9.02 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is gold. Uh, and gold has been um, pushing lower uh, the last few months. So the wider view is that we've seen a major rally uh, into September where the, where the metal hit a six-year high. So the kind of major, the very much wider theme is very much the upside. But... Since September, we've seen a nice series of lower lows and lower highs, so a classic example of a downward trend. And I'm speculating if the, this kind of downward trend were to continue, where could we look to go? So we're currently in around 1466 on, on the, uh, on the uh, current prices. If the downward trend does continue to go, and we take off the recent lows here in around uh, 1445, we could be likely heading back down toward this zone here, down to 1430, down to around 1400. Um, if you notice here that the market, uh, on a couple of occasions, the market was on a, on a push higher, it tried to get above this blue line here, the fifth of the moving average, and that comes into play at 1480. It tried to, on, unsuccessfully a couple of occasions to get past it, so that metric is actually a very decent resistance uh, in the very near past, and if the metric is important in the past, it makes it more likely that it will be of importance in the future, but obviously there are no guarantees. So while we would be remain below the 50 moving average, it's likely we could see further ground to be lost on the metal. Uh, if, if on the other hand we do have a, a, a push higher, and if again if the wider upward trend has been in play for some time now, uh, if that if that uh, if that were to uh, kick back into place, and we were to kind of push above the 50 moving average and close above it on a daily basis. We then could be looking towards 1500, you know, big psychological number. And then if you go beyond that, we could then be looking at targeting this zone here in around 1520. I think 1520, this could be the kind of significant level which needs to be taken out, which could be the the the, um, the point at which the market um, the market is signaling that it's a, the, the wider upward trend is continuing. And should we go beyond that, we could then be looking at retesting this zone here in around 1555, 1556. And like I said, that was a six-year high, so obviously any kind of move beyond that would then be kind of a pretty clear sign that the market is in an upward trend. So if, if you're ever trading, uh, if you're ever trading gold, it's also worth to keep an eye on what's going on on the silver market um, because Dow theory tells us that the uh, the averages must confirm each other. So if if, if, uh, if two markets that's, that's essentially states that if uh, if, mar if markets that are fairly similar are moving in the same direction, you can be more confident. That both markets will continue in that particular move. So, as we saw here, similar to gold, we saw a major run up in the kind of first half of 2019 into the, into the third quarter. Uh, we hit a multi year high on the silver market, and guess what? Since then, we had lower lows and lower highs. And it wasn't too long ago, uh, the silver market uh, fell back to a level last seen in August. So, a similar view to silver. So, while both markets uh, are, are, are pressing low, we, we can be more confident. That the, uh, that the overall kind of downward, the kind of near term, medium term downward trend in gold is going to continue. Now, if you are going to trade the gold market or indeed the silver market, uh, it is worth keep, keeping in mind today at 13:30 GMT we have US CPI numbers out. That that's that's um that, that's likely to add some volatility to, to the markets. And also today um we have the Federal Reserve's interest rate decision, uh which comes out at 1900 GMT and the sub and the and the um, press conference follows at 19:30 GMT. Now. It's widely believed the Fed are going to keep interest rates on hold because, let's face it, they cut rates three times between June and October, and they then and the payroll figures for them were very strong. So we, what we could see um, out of the, the Federal Reserve today is that no change in relation to monetary policy, and we could hear language which could suggest the Federal Reserve are content to keep monetary policy on hold for some time. Should that be the case, that might keep. Uh, that might that might give some assistance to the US dollar, which can in turn put some downward pressure on the uh, on, on the gold market. Also, keep an eye on what's going on US China China trade developments. Whenever we've seen, it's not it's not really surprise that we've seen um, the gold drift lower in recent weeks and months, given that not, not too long ago we were at all time highs in US equity markets and multi year highs in European markets. So anytime anytime we we see progress on on the China, US China trade fund. That's kind of added to the downward pressure in gold, and conversely, whenever things have tensions have, have ticked up between the US and China, we see uh, bounce backs or pushes higher in the gold market. So please keep an eye on what's going on in relation to US China trade too. 
Uh, that's all for me for, for this week in relation to this video. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and please tune in next week. Thank you very much.